when it came up and when there was an article written about it, about it, um, and there were a number of people who came forward to say, I didn't have this experience on the set. There were some people who said they felt uncomfortable or one particular person said they felt uncomfortable on the set during a, a, a nude scene. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if, if that surprised you that, 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 like these people came to you and you said, well, I don't agree, or is it, um, no, I had no time because I was so busy that I, nobody even had time to come to me. Like I knew that I'd had a falling out with a friend who took professional feedback personally. Like I knew that had happened. Um, and so part of me is like, so as I'm going through this process now is what makes a good leader and what makes a good manager. And I read like about a hundred books, you know, and it was like, oh, like I've made, I made so many mistakes. So you feel like you made mistakes in hiring? I mean, you didn't, you did, you, you hired people who I, you may have liked, but were not the right fit for you. Yeah. Right. Okay. I, and like part of that was like understating like then like, who are you? And like mm. part of the mistakes I made that I'm now doing some deeper work on are, it's sort of like this twofold thing. Um, I actually have like a story that's that feels relevant in this. So, so I was recently told that there's somebody who I worked with, like so equal power level, who has said some negative things about me, and I heard it from a few people in town. And what you'll also know is this town is very small. <laughs> Everyone you know, has an opinion, and as they should, and everyone has a you know. But but, but the stuff that yeah. So so I so this thing happened, and I was like, oh, that's that's surprising. I didn't even like know. Like this person wasn't like around that much, or whatever. So then I called them, and I just said, hey, in this time where I'm really doing some self inquiry and examination, um, I heard that you're saying some stuff. Is there anything you think I should be working on? that you can tell me to my face. And he was like, Frankie, whoa, like, what did, no, who said it? I'm like, well, I can't do that. <laughs> um, but just know we're all good. Like, yeah, like, we all have our stuff. Like, I'm, and so he said, okay, this is, what, this is what I say. I say, you're a monster talent. You work harder than anyone. And you can be tricky where you people feel close to you and then feel pushed away. And I was like, yeah, I get that. Thank you for saying that. Please stop saying it to everyone else. <laughs> now that there's a spotlight I mean, on my back. Do you feel you want to apologize? Do you feel that you were mis... Oh, I... Uh, there's, un, uh, you were yeah. treated unjustly. It's like the world, you know, you have, you're accountable to you. It sounds like very much you're accountable to you, but I'm just asking you. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing that, that I'm looking at is the ways in which what, were, what was my part and how not to repeat any pattern, right? So like this thing that I heard from this person was really enlightening to me because what I realized was in, and this is some of the work that I'm doing that does apply because I think we all grow up in the homes we grow up in that dictate then how you approach your job. And we all have our relationships with our family of origin and we have our, like all of this stuff learning that like, oh, growing up in a home where I didn't totally feel safe and I am like a little shape shifty and I'm a little walking on eggshells and I don't know if my needs are going to get met and I'm kind of afraid and I want to please. I want to please to ensure my safety. And so I'm I was like, oh, so some of that, bringing that into a work environment when I'm the boss, which is something I was not thinking about. I'm thinking that we're all in here to make my dreams come true, right? And we're all friends and like, you know, and it's like, oh no, you see me as someone with hiring and firing power. And that separates us. Didn't, I didn't have that thought before. I'm, that's like my ignorance and inexperience because you're learning on the go and you're learning on the fly and I did the best that I could. So, so with that in mind, there's some, there's like a little bit of in, inauthenticity. If I'm like, going to like be a little people pleasy. But then the other part of me is like, I'm from Boston and I'm an athlete. And if I have a goal, I go for it. And I have a high standard of work and I grew up scrappy and I grew up poor. And like, I just like, so like there's this other element and those combined can be confusing to some people. And I see that now, 
you might expect a nurturing from me that then I'm like busy doing this thing or I might have through our interaction made you feel a certain way and then not be available or I may have not explained why and how I'm doing things and you can interpret it a different way. And now I see all of these things that I just didn't, I didn't know and couldn't have known. So there's part of this whole process is like, if, because I just told you I lived through my worst nightmare, like there was a version where like, I just said, okay, bye Hollywood. I'm going to go to bed, you know, but it's like, it's this reason like to share this, which is why, like, I don't need to do any sort of like tit for tat, defend any of that. All I can do is like, this is what I learned and this is how I can pass it on. And hopefully it helps somebody.